Is Costco delivery worth it? Wait, what? Costco delivers? Today, we're going to talk about some pros and cons of grocery delivery and whether it's right for you. Because really, only you can decide if it's right for you or if it's not. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I are on the debt-free journey of our lives and we have paid off almost $180,000 worth of debt so far. So if you would like to be motivated in your debt-free process, stick around. We're fun. Everybody's fun on this channel because who said paying off debt has to be painful? Okay, totally painful, but you know, it's happening. So I was online this morning doing some research for my video on Monday and I noticed that Costco delivers. <laughs> so as you guys know, Mauricio and I don't currently have a Costco membership because we live with my parents and my parents do the Costco shopping. So we figured why pay for a Costco membership while we're here. But we are going to be living on our own soon enough and we will be getting that Costco membership back because legitimately buying in bulk can save you lots and lots and lots of money. And we're on board with that. Plus, I mean, I love Costco cause it's awesome. But I have Costco issues. I have difficulty like restraining myself when I go into Costco. I see the clothes, I see the books, I see the CDs, I see the cool Christmas stuff, I see the toys, I see all the cool foods I've never tried. I have learned not to buy the cool foods I've never tried because you don't want to have a lot of a food you don't like in bulk. Or you don't want to buy a snack for your daughter and find out your daughter's not going to eat it. So let's talk about some things we need to discuss to decide if delivery services, Costco in specific, is worth it. So first things first, you need to know if there is a minimum. How much do you actually have to buy in order for it to come from Costco? According to their website, you can get same day delivery if you buy $35. Maybe it would be worth it to you. Maybe it wouldn't. The next thing you need to consider with any service, and this includes delivery food, how much is the delivery and processing fee? Because there's always a delivery and processing fee. It's, it's just the nature of delivery. Is it reasonable or is it ridiculous? Because if I'm in a hurry and I wanna order DoorDash, I need to remember it's gonna cost me 10 to $15 extra to be lazy and not go pick it up. So another thing to consider, and this is specific to maybe people who work in their own business or maybe do YouTube, is having the item delivered gonna save you time so you can spend more time on things that earn you money? What do I mean? I mean, if it's gonna take me 20 minutes to drive to the grocery store, an hour to buy my groceries, and 20 minutes to drive home, that's an hour and 40 minutes. But if I can edit a video or film a video in that hour and 40 minutes, maybe I'll earn money off of that. So in order to do that, you'll actually need to do a little mathematical analysis and figure out how much you earn essentially per hour. Because I can tell you, I have a very, very good friend that if she worked another hour, hour and a half, it would be totally worth it for her to have her groceries delivered because she earns like $300 an hour. Another thing to consider is, are you an impulse shopper? Impulse shopper. If you are an impulse shopper and you're one of those people that see stuff and is like, oh, I wanna try that, or oh, this is really cool, and you have problems sticking strictly to a list, I'm, I've gotten better over the years. I am not nearly as impulsive as I used to be because I now think of it in terms of money, not like in terms of, oh, that's cool. But if you are an impulse shopper and you are tempted by impulses, it's so much easier to buy items online. Why? Because you type the item into the search bar and the items pop up. So you're not seeing stuff outside of what you need. So you stick to the budget more closely. So again, it's more math. If you typically come back from the grocery store with $25 worth of stuff you didn't plan on buying, that grocery delivery might totally be worth it. 
And at Costco, it's not $25. It's like $300 of impulse purchasing. Well, not anymore, but in the past, that's what it was. So you can also put items in your cart and let them sit for a while. Maybe you need to think about something or maybe you need to talk it over with your spouse. If they just sit in the cart, they just sit in the cart. You're logged into your account, you walk away, you come back maybe that evening, the next day, whatever, they're still sitting in your cart. So yeah, that is definitely a bonus. The next thing you absolutely must know before you start shopping, and I recommend you do this with any store, compare the prices online to the prices in the store because I guarantee you the prices online are frequently higher than the prices in the store. So figure out if they are the same or they are more. And again, it's gonna be more math trying to figure out if the price difference is worth it for you to have delivery. In that same sort of vein is you can actually compare different locations at one time. You can decide, okay, I wanna look at the price per pound of this at Costco versus the price per pound of this at Giant for Peapod and see, is it actually cheaper for me to buy something at Giant or should I go ahead and buy the sale item at Peapod by Giant? And if you can actually do that as you're putting groceries in your cart, you can save a lot of money. So I don't do a lot of grocery delivery, but I envision myself actually having like the Amazon Fresh, the Peapod, and the Costco sites all open and going over with my list to figure out which ones are the cheapest. So do you use delivery services? Do you find them cost beneficial? Do you, do you think they're worth it? Do you not use delivery services and why? I'd love to hear your comments down in the comments below. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.